All right, guys, this is Chris from RichWookie4, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to delete your media cache files from Premiere Pro to free up tons of space that might be hogged up by all these files that really don't matter. So these media cache files are basically just files used by Premiere to uh, uh, make your playback a little smoother by storing uh, your clips as preview files and over time they build up and they just you know take up space in your computer and by deleting them you're just freeing up a ton of space and it's in no way harming your actual uh, media clips and footage or anything that actually matters it's just uh, taking up some space and here's how you get rid of it so in Premiere Pro CC 2018 the brand new update what you got to do is you got to go to Premiere Pro CC up here you go to preferences and they added a media cache button here, which is brand new. It used to be that you would go to media, and within media, there was a setting there for media cache, but they made it its own thing here. So you go here, and here it is. Okay, so the way you delete everything is you go to delete unused right here, if you want to delete everything. Or in my case, what I find the most intuitive is um, I automatically delete oldest cache files when the cache exceeds 20 gigs. Uh, this is configurable. You could change it to whatever you want. Um, but in my case, I want it there. Uh, or you could automatically delete cache files older, older than a certain number of days or just don't delete them at all. Um, so, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. You just select one of these, change your values here, or you could just delete them all up here. Uh, this is where you can choose where your media cache files are stored, if that matters to you. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So after that, you just press OK, and you're good to go. Uh, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. You know the deal. Whatever. So uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.